I want your opinion on fear. Should I suppress it? How do you cope with fear? What a great question. You know, throughout our civilization, we have tried to suppress fear because we didn't know what else to do. We've overcome fear. We've defeated fear. We haven't let fear stop us. The definition of courage is to act in spite of fear. So that's what pretty much everyone does. And that's why I love this question, because it's basically saying, isn't there a better way? How do we do this? I mean, are we just going to keep forever bumping into the same fear and overcoming it for the rest of our life? Like if you're afraid of flying, do you have to overcome the fear with willpower every time you go on a flight? Isn't there a better way? Yes, there is. You can erase it permanently. That's right. Permanently gone never to return so you were once afraid of flying and now you're not never again how can that be possible everyone knows that's impossible no it's not impossible just because people didn't do it before never meant that it was impossible it just meant they didn't know how to do it and then people made an even bigger mistake they thought because no one knew how to do it that meant it couldn't be done but that's not true it actually can be done, it's being done, and I can even teach you how to erase your fear. Courage is wonderful. To overcome your fear and act in spite of fear, that's wonderful. To be fearless, now that is spectacular. That is amazing. And you can become fearless. You can erase all of your fears. You don't need to be afraid of anything. I used to have a terrible fear of heights. And I remember the first time I went hiking way up high and I looked over this very, very steep, very deep cliff down into a huge canyon. I didn't even remember that I used to be afraid because that used to freak me out. I actually looked down and thought, wow, wouldn't it be amazing to jump off and fly like a bird? But never in my life did I ever feel like like that whenever I was up high and looked down my body would literally freeze up and I would I would feel like I would lose control of my ability to even stand properly and I'd be afraid that I would just fall over and then it'd be hard to even walk back and then when I realized that I actually felt like I could fly or jump off the cliff without being hurt it was just such a huge departure and you see you can have that experience with any and all fears it used to be very difficult for me to talk about my childhood and the way that my parents abused me and my brothers and just the whole thing would just, I would just lock up and I couldn't talk about it. It was very, very difficult. And there was a lot of fear that my father would kill me <laughs> because he told me over and over again that he would. And all that fear was buried in there. You know, it mostly was from like age four and five. And so as an adult, all I felt was like I couldn't move or like I was frozen but I didn't know why. Sometimes fear can be so big that no amount of willpower can overcome it. Then what do you do? It's better to take the strategy of a permanent solution than a repeated temporary solution. Rather than trying to use your willpower to constantly and forever after overcome your fear, or in some cases be stuck because you can't even move, it's better to erase it and have no fear about that subject. So like, for example, if you're a man and you like women and you want to go up to a girl and talk to her, but you're afraid, it's better to erase the fear. So when you go up and talk to her, you're not being afraid while you're trying to talk to her. It's better to be confident. Women love that, don't they? I mean, isn't that what they all say? Like the number one thing a woman likes about a man is his sense of confidence. But fear, even if you're overcoming it, doesn't come across as being confident. It comes across as being scared. <laughs> and you're doing it anyway. Good for you. And you probably crashed and burned because you couldn't be yourself. How can you be yourself when you're being afraid? So we've got to get in there and erase these fears in a permanent way. There's so many different fears that people have that I've seen um, erased during my training. And I, I love it when kids show up. I remember one year, uh, this girl named Victoria took all my courses. I have 25 courses, and back then I think I had 11. So she took all 11 of them. And on the very last day of the very last course, I said, Victoria, you've been sitting on the ground and coloring most of the time. She was nine. Uh, do you want to share anything? 
she said, yeah, I want to share something. So she came up on stage and we gave her the microphone and she said, well, my friend came to visit and I don't have a nightlight and she does at her house and she couldn't go to sleep because she's afraid of the dark. So I did the seven steps with her and erased her fear of the dark and we went to sleep. <laughs> now, this is a true story. Uh, a different year, uh, a different nine-year-old came up on stage and I said, what would you like to clear? Because I asked for a volunteer to come up and erase something permanently, right? And she comes up on stage and I say, what would you like to clear? And she says, I want to clear my fear of bugs. And the audience laughs at her. And she looks at them and says, no, you don't, you guys don't understand. I can't sleep at night. I am afraid of spiders and bugs getting me and I can't sleep. And this would be really huge if it was gone. And I said, okay, let's erase it. So we erased it. And then the next day was the next day of the training. And I asked her to come up on stage and share with the audience how she slept. And she said she slept fine and her fear of bugs is gone. And then someone threw a giant rubber spider at her and she turned and caught it and laughed because she wasn't afraid of spiders or bugs at all. I know these are cute examples of kids overcoming their fears, but adults have real fears too that can be a lot more serious, like a fear of going broke, fear of survival. A lot of people, maybe the whole planet, is running on this big problem of being afraid that there isn't enough to go around and for people to survive. And a lot of adults have a fear of death, fear of getting old, fear of getting sick. We got to get rid of all of this. What would happen if the world erased their fear of survival and everyone felt safe that they would be able to survive and have all their needs met? We might even have peace on earth when that happens. Okay, I've teased you enough. Now you want to know, how do I erase these fears or my fear in the way that you're talking about? You need to learn the seven steps to reprogramming yourself. Click on the link below, learn more about it. Find out what the seven steps is how to take the course, the course is online and in person, how long it is, and learn about all that stuff. Sign up for it, take the course, erase your first fear, and send me a testimonial video. Post your testimony, upload it to YouTube, and post your video in the comments. Wouldn't that be cool? But if you email it to us, we'll post it on our channel with your permission. Of course, you're going to have a testimonial. This works for everyone. I know you're thinking it sounds too good to be true. If you think that, watch the hundreds of testimonial videos on my channel and you'll see it's not too good to be true. It's about freaking time that someone figured out how to erase fear permanently. And isn't it your turn now? Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. See, that is the sound of the truth ringing right there. Did you hear that? <laughs> a bell rang right when I said that. It's for you. It's not a coincidence. It's for you. Now's your time. If you're really interested in erasing your fear, do it. There's so many, many examples I can give you. People erasing their fears of everything you can imagine. I probably have a testimonial video for that. So now it's your turn. My name's Arno Garan. Subscribe to my channel. Let's hang out. I'll see you soon.